Hey, what's up? Mike Locke here, ML Web Consulting. Today I'm going to show you how to create vector icons by merging and joining objects uh, within uh, Fireworks. Right now you see I have this, uh, this vector icon here. And the reason why I created this today, um, I was working on it on a brochure for a company that I work for. And I needed some icons, if you see right here. Um, right in this little section here, I created these icons. and uh, in some cases when you're creating brochures and things like that you're going to need icons or even when you're when you're designing your websites you're going to need sort of some certain icons that you don't really want to go in and go and purchase but you want to create yourself and by some of the techniques I'm going to show you here you can um, you'll be able to pick up and start creating icons on your own alright so um, right now this is in vector format so I can you know scale this as, as, as low as I want I can change the colors can do whatever I want, and that's the reason why you want to uh, be able, you know, learn to be able to create vector um, icons. And so let's go ahead, and I'm going to show you how I created this. And right now, I'm going to turn this into, I'm going to flatten this vector object and create a bitmap. So right now, I just created a bitmap, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can we can recreate this uh, into um, into vector format. All right okay so let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and you're just going to copy the body just kinda draw an, a square outline around the body and what you're gonna do is as you still have this held down by your mouse you're going to push the up arrow on your keyboard and what that's going to do is going to round the corners of this box as you see the corners starting to to round and you get to a point to where it looks sort of like the shoulders of the icon you're good. Then, let's just zoom in a little. Go ahead and grab your rectangle tool again, and you're going to draw one of the arms. Just kind of uh, draw close to the arm, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hold the arrow button up, and it will begin to curve the, uh, the box into a circle sort of like the arm. Alright, so now you have these two objects. You can move them over here for now. And then we want to do the same thing for this little white section here. Because we're going to punch out this area. Alright, so just go ahead and grab that. And then you're going to also do the same thing. Hold the up arrow. What I'm doing is I'm just clicking the up arrow up until the uh, the box that I drew out has rounded corners alright just like that as you can see the rounded corners around the black box now alright so now you have these objects here these are the objects we're going to use to create this shape you might want to, or what you're gonna have to do is go ahead and, and, and select them all and do a copy because we're going to uh, use them over again um, you want to have enough copies to, to be able to use and I, I'll show you why. So let's go ahead and move our move our black box right over here. And then let's take this little skinny bar. And what we're going to do, let's go ahead and make this a different color just so you can see. We're going to line this up, this little orange bar right where it should be. And then we're going to move our a little body section here and what you're going to do is select these two objects you see they're selected go over to modify alter path I'm sorry combine path and you're going to do punch you're going to punch out so what it just happened is it just punched out a little section in this area alright so the other thing you do you want to grab a little square just kind of like cover I'll change a different color. Just cover the arm there, and you're going to select these two objects, and you do modify, and you're going to do uh, punch out again. Punch. So what it does, it what it did, what it does, what it did is <laughs> it punched out an area of this arm. All right. So now you go ahead and grab this tool, and you can kind of match it up. Now, if you see this little section over here, what you can do, 
with your subselection tool, you can select one of these points. Once you select the points, you activate the fact that you can now highlight all these points and you can move them down. Okay, like that. Now you can do that with the subselection tool. Now go ahead and move your arm back over here. Now you're going to select these two objects again. See now they're selected. They're two different objects right now. Select them, do modify, combine path, and you're going to do union. Okay, so now it unifies. Now this entire section is one vector object. Alright, so if you know where I'm going with it, I'm just going to do the same thing and kind of go through these areas. Go ahead and grab this little tool here. What I'm doing, I'm holding Alt and I'm creating a, a, a mirrored object or a copy of this version because I'm going to use these objects over again. Let's see, just change this color so we can see where this is. Let's move this out of the way. Just go ahead and put this there. Move this back. And then select your two objects and just do modify, combine path, just do punch. You want to punch out this area in this section here. Let's see. So let's just take our subselection tool and just drag this point up a little bit. You can then select with your subselection tool, select one of these points. You're going to hover that. You're going to hover over all these points and just drag this down just a little bit. Oops. There. So now you can grab your arm, put it back over here. Wait, that was kind of... That wasn't a good... Alright, so just put it right back over here. Now select our two objects and change the color just so you can see what I'm doing. So I have these two objects. Now I'm going to just do a modify, combine path. We're going to do a union. So now we have that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, just going to finish it off just with the head. Obviously, that's easy. Not going to do the whole thing because it takes a little long. But as you can see, right now I have portion of the body. So now if I wanted to create the legs, I would just go ahead and do the same thing. I can just take my rectangle tool and just sort of uh, copy this. Create create the rounded corners and then just, just drag it over here and just do a join a join and then a little for areas that where I want to punch out I can select two objects and just do punch or modify combine path and punch it punches out an area that I, I wanted to all right so basically by using by using the by using the vector tools over here by the vector shapes and then selecting modify and then just do combine path you either want to punch out objects or you want to join these you know join shapes together and that allows you to create sort of vector icons like this and then once you get you know the icons that you want you can start changing colors and you can add gradients to it if you want and do different things alright so hopefully this was helpful you learned a little bit I'm sorry I didn't finish the icon but I, I think uh, you just from the few things that I showed you here you get the point and you can start building out icons and, and sort of doing things like this alright so thanks for watching look out for more videos and um, hope this was helpful we'll talk soon bye